Welcome back for another episode of Eyebrows Reviews. This week, I didn't actually take to Amazon to find this product, surprisingly enough. I actually ventured on down to the Tanger Outlets in Rehoboth Beach to find these Reebok shoes that I'll be reviewing. They are actually called Reebok Men's Flexagon Force 3.0 Cross Trainers. I did find them on Amazon, however, to provide you with a link to show you what they look like. Check it out. Now, since I did find these at the outlets, I can't say that I had really high expectations for the durability and quality of the actual shoe itself. Um, but I am a deal shopper, and when I saw them for 40 bucks at the outlets, it was just too good of a deal for me to pass up. Plus, they were aesthetically pleasing, so they really, as far as the colors to me, they worked well, and they're kind of neutral, so they fit with a lot of different outfits, so it was too good to pass up. Now, yesterday was the first time wearing the shoes for the majority of the day. I did try them on in store to avoid any type of unnecessary return in the event the shoes didn't fit or they were just too snug on my feet. I will say that when I did try them on in store, I had a less fluffy sock on. Um, yeah, I had, I had what I thought was just an ankle sock, and apparently the socks I have here at my house, which go a little bit higher than the ankle sock, tend to be a little bit more on the fluffier side, which provides a more snug fit of the shoe. So just keep that in mind when you are buying them because of the padded insole inside the shoe. Uh, so if you run into any issues where the shoe feels too tight, you might just need to switch your socks out because I ran into the same issue yesterday when I put them on. Now, as I did mention, the shoe itself does come with a padded insole. So if you need to buy a, another insole to replace them, you'll have to pull this whole gel insert out in order to put those in. Um, I thought they came with a pretty decent padded insole, so for me personally, I'm not going to replace them or put a new one in there. That's just me. The shoe itself um, is pretty comfortable. It was a little bit of a snug fit when I was wearing them yesterday due to the sock issue that I had. Um, but overall, I, I would say great quality buy. I wouldn't advise doing anything that's going to be on the dirty side as far as if you're walking around on gravel or walking around on stone. I would avoid that if you're strictly you're sticking strictly to sidewalk for these shoes specifically. Um, those would be best because they have a white white sole. And I tripped over a couple spots yesterday while walking and definitely got a couple nicks in the shoe itself that I had to try and wash out at the end of the day. So if you want to avoid any unnecessary dirt, stick to the streets or sidewalk. Something that's going to be clean or you're not going to have to worry about walking through any dirt or debris because... With a white sole on the bottom, they will get dirty. And you can't just go and cleanse them like you would at church. You have to give them a good scrubbing. <laughs> anyway, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I did find this product on Amazon. It's listed at about $55. I bought them for roughly about $40 down at the Tanger Outlets in Rehoboth Beach. If you are near the Delaware area, feel free to go down and check them out. If you have a nearby outlet close to you, um, swing on by and see if you can actually find a pair of them or try them on to see, see if you like them yourself. I would say it's a pretty good jogging, maybe walking shoe uh, as far as rigorous activity, as far as running, sprinting, weightlifting. Um, like I said, that's all based on the person and I guess their specific foot. Some people have weird feet that they need like certain shoes for. So, um, But just the basics, I would say it covers that and it was a relatively affordable shoe. Um, so check them out. Let me know what you think. And until next time.